Giant Eagle is getting rid of its plastic bags. It's part of an effort to get more people to use reusable bags. Money editor John Delano is live with a look at the plan and how it'll affect you when you go to the store. John. Hey guys, well, we all know that plastics is everywhere. And because it's not biodegradable, every year Americans add 14 billion plastic bags to an environmental crisis. Well, today, Giant Eagle announced a step towards solving the problem. Beginning Wednesday, January 15th, the Waterworks Market District off Freeport Road will no longer provide those blue plastic bags to its customers. We're going to start by providing incentives to use reusable bags and by eliminating plastic bags. It's a pilot project that will expand to other giant eagles before 2025, signed by a pledge with the mayor and county executive. We're all in, and the more things we can do in the coming years, even before 2025, let's do them. Let's make things better for all of us here uh, on our planet and certainly in western Pennsylvania. Instead of plastic bags, shoppers are encouraged to bring their own reusable bags or purchase one at the store for 99 cents. Worse comes to worse, Giant Eagle will offer paper bags at 10 cents a bag. We're offering incentive to bring the reusable bag and a disincentive to forget the reusable bag. Paper, while better than plastic in a lot of ways, is not a perfect solution. Uh, and we don't want people to get used to relying on that as a, as a good alternative. Of course, the bigger problem is all the products that come in plastic containers. Giant Eagle's CEO pledged to do something about that, too. When they're our own brands, we have a lot of influence. <laughs> when they're not our brands, we still have a lot of influence because uh, consumers vote with their, with their wallet. And this is an issue that is very important in today's world to, to real people who want to do the right thing for the next generations. Now again, no plastic bags at this market district beginning January 15th. As yet, we have no timetable for when this ban will go in place at the other giant eagles around the region. So what do customers think of all this? We'll have that story coming up at 6. Live in Fox Chapel, I'm John Delano, KDKA News.